Hey guys, DC Toy Man again. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'm going to shout out to some of my Google Plus followers again. Joshua Rivera, Darius Chavez, and Lucas Altieri, Thierry, to name a few. Uh, thanks a lot, for, and I hope you enjoy this video. So this figure is Toy Man. It's the DC Universe Classics Toy Man uh, Wave 18 Figure 3 by Mattel. The accessories include this yo-yo, and there was a top toy, but it's missing from this version. I bought it used, of course, for about 10 bucks. So it's very well articulated. It's the most articulated figure, I would say, in the whole collection. Um, he's, he's articulated at the torso, the shoulder, the biceps, the elbow, the wrist, uh, legs thigh, knee, feet. Uh, he's just very uh, articulate, like I said, very poseable, uh, which actually fits his character pretty well. Uh, I'm used to this version from the Super Friends cartoon. Uh, he's often depicted as a heavyset man with glasses, but uh, I don't like the the undertones or overtones of pedophilia from the animated version, the spider robot version like we have in the, the some of the DC movies. Uh, his, that guy's just a bad man who deserves to be castrated. So anyway, I like the, that being said, <laughs> I like the bright colors of the outfit. I like the, uh, just the bright colors of the, uh, the arm sleeves and then you have the uh, the pants and the boots. Uh, I don't like the fact that the boots are again painted on. It's getting to be a pet peeve of mine if they paint the boots on instead of ha molding them separately. It's just kind of you know lazy in my opinion. You know you're most of the way there and then you kind of take a shortcut to get to the finish line instead of finishing it right. Toy Man's first appearance was in Action Comics number 64 in September of 1943 as Winslow Schott, I think is how you pronounce his name. But this is the Jack Nimble version that we're more familiar with, like I said, from Super Friends. Uh, there's a little red something on his, on his eyebrow. But uh, Jack Nimble's version is uh, in Action he first appeared in Action Comics number 432 in February of 1974, but this box, from what I read, uh, with this figure in it, is labeled as Winslow Scott, as Shot. Shot's son, Anton, takes on the Dollmaker uh, moniker as an homage to his dad later on, and uh, in more recent versions, there's a, a Japanese uh, teenage mechanical genius named Hiro Okamura, and he takes on the name of of Toy Man, uh, and he, he first appeared in 2002, but he becomes an ally. This ver that version of uh, Toy Man becomes an ally to Superman and Batman. He's the little teenage boy. But for this version, for the Winslow shot version, uh, he, as far as his abilities, he's an inventor, he's a mechanical engineer, uh, he has enhanced dexterity, which again uh, explains why he's so poseable, that's why it fits his character so well, and of course he uses toy-based gimmicks. Some of the major storylines that he's been involved in are Justice, uh, Alex Ross, illustrated that one, painted that series, and in Justice, he is only in a couple issues, uh, to but Toy Man confronts the Justice League in his warehouse with a marionette robot that he's controlling, and you can't see where he actually is, but you just see the, the robot, and in Superman Volume 2, number 13, from January of 1988, uh, Toymaker is depicted as being unemployed, and he blames Lex Luthor and Luthor and LexCorp for ruining his company. And during the Infinite Crisis, there's a Villains United issue leading up to Infinite Crisis, and in that issue he slips Venom into the Blackgate prisoners' uh, meal to help them, you know, get roided up and help them escape, if you will. And there's another, you know, Luthor, also called Absolute Luthor. Uh, trade paperback that I haven't quite finished reading yet but in that one he comments that he loves children and he's kind of crying to someone one of the other prisoners and that kind of you know of course is ironic because he hurts children 
some of his uh, nemeses include Superman and the Justice League had to the major the, his major villains if you will his major uh, nemeses and in movies and TV we see him in uh, Superman Doomsday in that movie and he was also in the Superman the animated series uh, we see the hero Okamura version in Superman Batman Public Enemies and in that movie he's obsessed with Power Girl and her her very famous attributes shall we say uh, obviously he's a teenage boy <laughs> so he's very focused on obsessed with her attributes uh, we also see versions of uh, Toy Man in Smallville and of course Super Friends and uh, also in Lois and Clark in Smallville I haven't quite reached the point where we see Toy Man but again he what I've seen online he's depicted as uh, an, a heavy set man with glasses of course but in Lois and Clark the new adventures of Superman he's uh, played by the uh, incomparable uh, George Jefferson himself Sherman Helmsley so I want to watch that again just to see Sherman Helmsley uh, play him <laughs> Uh, but I've struggled with whether I should use a scale of how to rate these figures. Should I use a scale of 1 to 10? Should I use, you know, star, 5 star? Uh, should I use a grade system? I guess as far as a grading system, you know, I would give this, I was going to say an, a solid A, but with these boots, I, I got to give it an A minus or a B plus. Uh, just like I said, it's you know they're most of the way there. The model is great. Uh, I like the fact that he's depicted as you know a thin, uh, wiry kind of uh, figure, and uh, I'll get to that kind of in Sinestro's review as well, because Toy Man was never a bodybuilder, and he's not going to be this big muscular guy. So they nailed the model spot on. I think he's you know just this tall gangly guy and I think they did a good job with that. I like the colors, I like the paint job, uh, I like this version of him. Uh, he's excellently articulated as I said, uh, you know, but just the boots kind of knock it down a little bit. Uh, so in my opinion, I'm sure my son will love playing with this later, but you know, as far as uh, it, the its potential is kind of cut short with these boots so that's kind of the only real complaint I have about this figure thanks again for watching this video and up next is probably going to be Sinestro unless someone votes and they want to see you want to you guys want to see Green Arrow or Luth Lex Luthor let me know thank you